Hey everyone, um, this is going to be a short video to cover how to upload a new listing into Paragon, how to add photos in a 3D tour if you have one, and how to set up showing time. So contrary to what you might think, we're actually not going to start in Paragon. We're going to start in Instanet, and we're going to open the residential listing input form. And this has been filled out completely and our seller has either signed it in person or via AuthentiSign. Um, this one I haven't actually filled out in its entirety. It's just an example form um, for Daisy and Donald Duck. But the way that we upload all of this information that you spend so long filling out all these little check boxes, the way we get that into MLS is actually, quick little trick, is just in this upper right hand corner, click upload listing. And it's gonna tell me I can't upload it because obviously this form is incomplete again because it's just for an example, um, but it would tell you a partial listing has been sent to the MLS. So if you go to Paragon and you look under listings, maintain partials, this is where your partial listings will be sent. Here's one that I sent as an example. Um, so again, I just started with the residential listing input form, filled it all out, and had my client sign it, and just hit this handy dandy little button up in the upper right hand corner, and it sends all of the information over here to Paragon. So I have this partial listing, and it's great because, again, rather than come into Paragon and do double the work and re-enter all of this data, I'm just going to send it directly from Instanet right into Paragon. So the way, first of all, that we um, upload photos is we go to Add, Edit, Photos, and you can hit Upload Multiple Photos. Um, you can do a drag and drop, or you can click Add Files right here. Either way, you're gonna add um, those JPEG files that you have from a professional photographer. I'll just show you a drag and drop. So on my computer here, we'll just say, got a few photos here. Um, quick tip, if I'm looking at a file like this, the photos I have saved on my computer, I can click on the first one and the last one that I want. So I click on the first one, I hold and click I click and hold shift on my computer keyboard and then I click the last one and now I've selected all of them. And I can just drag and drop and start upload. It'll take a few moments. In fact, I don't think I'll bore you with this adding all of these, but it will go ahead and um, add the photos here. And so you see so you can add up, I believe it's about 25 you can add. Um, you have your primary photo and um, you can, if you don't like the order, you can switch them around by just dragging and dropping these tiles. So um, that's how you add photos. You can add, of course you could add one at a time. You could just click each little individual tile here. Save the changes I've made. You could just click this little tile here and add a single file and drag it in. So it's it's just up to you how you like to do it. I like to add multiple photos at one time, just get it all done. If you have a 3D tour, you go back to maintain listing and you scroll down here, um, you can add your virtual tours here. And MLS has actually given us more space so you can add up to three virtual tours, um, both branded and unbranded. Um, your photographer will send them to you and give you, and he will or she will um, mark them as branded or unbranded. You just want to make sure that you don't mix those up. Um, but it's just literally your photographer will send you a, um, an email with a URL, probably. So you just copy and paste that right here. That's where your tours go. So that's pretty straightforward, I think. Um, You'll notice that because this is a partial listing, it hasn't been saved to MLS. My choices here on the left are kind of limited. All I can do is enter information about the property, um, add edit pictures. There's not a lot I can do. Um, so I'm gonna just 
get rid of that. I obviously just don't want to send that partial listing to the MLS and make it live um, because this is just as an example. So um, we'll go to a listing that I currently have, maintain listings. And I will show you how to set up showing time. So you've added all this great information. You've added all of your photos. You click save listing, finished. And that will make the listing live. And then you can open it. And on the left-hand side, now you'll see you have more options here on the left. You can add edit open house. Obviously right now, um, for the foreseeable future, this is no longer an option, but if you are hosting an open house in the future when it's allowed again, you would add that date and time here and it will syndicate out to all of the major sites like Zillow or Realtor. Add edit documents. This is an important one. You see that I have the SRPD for the property uploaded here. Any um, disclosures you have, the SRPD, lead-based paint disclosure, open range, those should go here. Um, but Oh, and there's also an activity report, which um, is nice to send to your sellers. I prefer to set them up on the Collab Center site for sellers, but this is also a nice little quick breakdown. Um, but showing time is what we wanna look at today. So the number one question I get for showing time is, a lot of times, as new agents, this is what it looks like for you. You have it, your name, and it will tell you, it'll give you the option to confirm and cancel appointments by email, but for some reason you can't, can't click the text button. It's really simple fix. Over here, edit your contact information. Make sure it says mobile phone and it has your phone number. And then down here at the bottom, text message. Make sure it's set up that it's your, that showing time is allowed to send text messages to that mobile phone number. So um, I get that question a lot. It's really simple. So I like to get text messages when I have um, showings confirmed on a property. In this case, um, this is a vacant listing. So we're going to allow both in-person and virtual appointments. This is just a courtesy call go and show because again, it's vacant. Um, I'd like buyer's agents to schedule showings so I know who's showing it and they have to provide feedback but they don't need to wait for me or anyone else to approve the showing. They just ask to show it and they can. Um, appointment required would be appropriate if it was an occupied home. Um, here you can actually add the owner. So if it's an owner occupied home and um, they want to be the ones to approve or disapprove showings, um, you can just add them here and add their contact information and they will get the request when an agent requests to see the property. You can choose um, you know, same day appointments if you want there to be lead time. Um, for example, um, if you have an owner occupied home and they want at least two hours notice before a, uh, an agent's going to show up to show the property, that would be lead time. In this case, again, it's a vacant property, so no lead time necessary. You can change the maximum appointment length, um, Actually, I'm gonna change this because yes, overlapping appointments are fine as long as the showing agent knows ahead of time. If you need to add showing restrictions like specific dates or days that don't work, you have that option here. Um, you can do the one-time uh, restriction or you can do a repeating restric restriction. So for example, um, you know, if for the next month of June, they didn't want to have any showings on Sundays for some reason, um, you could set it up that way. You can add your lockbox information, alarm details, any specific showing instructions. Um, so it's really quite straightforward, but that's how you set up showing time. So again, we talked about um, to get your listing, first of all, into Paragon and get it Get it saved as a partial listing. You start here in the listing input form and click upload listing. And then once you're in Paragon, to work on that partial listing, you go to listings, partials. And that's where you can add your photos here on the left hand side. And once you click save and save that listing and make it live, again, you can find it under listings. 
And again, on the left hand side, you would click on showing time to set up your showing time uh, link and make it really easy for the property to be shown. So I hope that was helpful, you guys. Thanks so much.